a shaft 80 mm in diameter is being pushed through a bearing slip 80.20 mm in diameter and 300 mm long the clearance is filled with oil having a kinematic viscosity of 0.005 meter square per second and specific gravity is 0.90 if the shaft moves axially at 0.50 meters per second find the resistance offered by the oil on the shaft here uh, uh, shaft diameter is uh, 80 mm and being pushed through a bearing slip so there is a solid shaft this uh, solid shaft is pushed through a bearing slip so what is bearing slip actually so so this is bearing slip i'm simply writing slip this is uh, shaft the shaft pushed through a the shaft pushed through a bearing sleeve uh, generally sleeve is a cylindrical hollow metal tube generally mounted or mounted or placed over a shaft uh, to protect it from uh, corrosion erosion impact and wear okay so this is actually basic purpose of a sleeve so it will protect uh, Uh, shaft from uh, erosion corrosion wear and uh, impact loads okay and here given uh, diameter of shaft and diameter of sleeve so diameter of shaft is diameter of uh, shaft diameter of shaft so diameter of shaft let us say small d is equal to given 80 mm and also diameter of sleeve Signal diameter of slip, diameter of slip. Capital D is equal to 80.20 mm. Given 80.20 mm. Okay. So a shaft 80 mm in diameter is being pushed through a bearing slip 80.20 mm in diameter and 300 mm long. And here length of the uh, slip is. length of the uh, sleeve l is equal to 300 mm okay so in meters suppose uh, we want 300 mm into meters so 300 into 1 mm is equal to 1 by 1000 meters then you will get uh, length of the sleeve l is equal to 0.3 meters 0.3 meters next let us continue the question the clearance is filled with oil having a kinematic viscosity of 0.00 meter square per second meter meter square per second is a unit of kinematic viscosity so anyhow this gap so there is some clearance between the shaft and the slip here we have clearance between shaft and slip ఈ షాఫ్ట్ కి ఈ స్లీవ్ కి క్లియరెన్స్ గ్యాప్ అనేది ఉంది కదా హియర్ దిస్ గ్యాప్ ఆర్ క్లియరెన్స్ ఇస్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ సమ్ ఆయిల్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ ఆయిల్ సో దిస్ గ్యాప్ ఆర్ స్పేస్ ఆర్ క్లియరెన్స్ ఇస్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ సమ్ ఆయిల్ సో హియర్ దిస్ కైనమెటిక్ విస్కోసిటీ ఆఫ్ ఆయిల్ ఇస్ గివెన్ కైనమెటిక్ విస్కోసిటీ సో దిస్ ఆయిల్ యాక్ట్ యాజ్ ఎ లూబ్రికెంట్ ఓకే kinematic or some question kinematic viscosity of oil kinematic viscosity of oil so kinematic viscosity of oil nu is equal to kinematic viscosity denoted by nu nu is equal to given as 0.005 0.005 meter square per second given kinematic viscosity of oil so here this clearance is filled with uh, some oil and uh, its kinematic uh, viscosity is 0.005 meters square per second and specific gravity specific gravity specific gravity of uh, oil is equal to 0.90 0.90 okay. 
if the shaft moves axially at 0.5 meters per second so here this shaft moves axially with a velocity 0.5 meters per second so okay now so there is a shaft and a sleeve is placed over this uh, over the shaft and this gap filled with uh, or clearance filled with some oil and the shaft moves axially with a velocity 0.5 meters per second okay then find the resistance offered by the oil on the shaft okay now because uh, here uh, the gap between this shaft and the sleeve is filled with oil therefore uh, due to viscosity this oil uh, will resist the motion of this shaft okay so we have to find that resistance force so here ultimately we have to find resistance resistance offered resistance offered by the offered by the oil so on what on the shaft on the shaft so resistance offered by the oil on the shaft is equal to what this will be equal to shear force shear force on the shaft shear force on the shaft denoted by yeah face so resistance offered by the oil on the shaft is equal to shear force on the shaft the amount of shear force acting on this shaft so ultimately we have to find this shear force okay so we can solve this problem uh, using newton's law of viscosity okay let's solve so we have to find shear force on the shaft so according to newton's law of viscosity newton's law of viscosity newton's law of viscosity shear stress tau is equal to nu into du by dy okay so according to newton's law of viscosity shear stress is directly proportional to shear strain okay if we remove proportionality limit we have to keep some constant the constant is mu here mu is called dynamic viscosity here mu is called dynamic viscosity dynamic viscosity dynamic viscosity in pascal second or newton second per meter square or newton second per meter square okay so next time. here tau is called shear stress tau is called shear stress tau is called shear stress shear stress is equal to shear force by area under shear okay na shear force by area under shear so now shear force becomes from this formula shear force is equal to transpose as tau into yes okay now fs is equal to shear force we have to find shear force so fs is equal to what is tau tau is equal to mu into du by dy into yes into yes so to find fs so fs kavalante we need values of mu du dy and as so first of all let us find mu mu is nothing but dynamic viscosity dynamic viscosity is equal to kinematic kinematic viscosity into density of oil so this is the formula for dynamic viscosity relationship between dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity here nu is called this is mu mu means dynamic viscosity mu means dynamic viscosity and nu nu means kinematic viscosity and rho i means density of oil here rho i means density of oil so we need uh, here we need dynamic viscosity kinematic viscosity is already given nu is equal to given 0.005 meter square per second now how do we get density of oil so but so already in the question is given uh, specific gravity specific gravity of uh, oil specific gravity of oil is equal to density of oil by density of uh, standard fluid nothing but water okay so in the given question we already given specific gravity of oil how much given specific gravity 
we need density of oil density of water how much density of water is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube under standard conditions okay so density of oil is equal to 0.9 into so transpose density of water division becomes multiplication density of water how much 1000 now density of oil is equal to 0.9 into 1000 900 kg per meter cube now we have density of oil so density of oil which in monthly so using kinematic viscosity and density of oil we can find we can find the visc dynamic viscosity mu 0.005 into density of oil density of oil 900 kg per meter cube then mu is equal to 0.05 into 900 you will get 4.5 pascal second viscosity units pascal second or newton second per meter square you can take any unit okay newton second per meter square therefore dynamic viscosity is 4.5 pascal second or newton second per meter square so next uh, uh, du so what is du du means uh, change in velocity change in velocity of shaft change in velocity of shaft here shaft is moving axially so change in velocity is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity final velocity how much you given 0.5 meters per second and initial velocity is zero okay so he didn't mention anything about initial velocity so zero so d is equal to what change in velocity 0.5 meters per second last unit okay now so next dy what is dy so distance between dy means distance between shaft and slip okay shaft and slip distance between shaft and slip so here distance between shaft and slip is equal to thickness of oil film this is equal to what thickness of distance or clearance you can say clearance so clearance and goda anuchman so distance between uh, shaft and sleeve or clearance between shaft and sleeve that clearance is filled with the uh, oil so thickness of oil thickness of uh, the oil so thick how do we get thickness of oil dy is equal to we have a uh, diameter of the sleeve and diameter of the shaft so diameter of sleeve capital d minus diameter of shaft small d by 2 so thickness of oil film is equal to thickness of oil film or distance between shaft and sleeve is equal to capital D minus small d by 2. Capital D how much you given? 80 mm minus sorry 80.20 mm given minus small d 80 mm by 2. So 80.20 minus 80.00 you will get 0 0.20 by 2. If you simplify, you will get 0 0.10 mm. Let us convert mm into meters. Okay, now. So, I am just converting all units into meters. Okay, uniformity maintain just now. Units are, units are the same diameter. Whether meters or mm alone. So, I will convert meters to dy is equal to 0 0.10 into one mm is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. Okay. At last, we have uh, u du dy and at last we need a shear area area under shear so area under shear is equals to circumference of cylinder circumference of sorry circumference of solid shaft so circumference of shaft means pi d pi into small d where d is diameter of the shaft so shear area is equal to and remember in this case shear area is equal to circumference of shaft into length of length of the sleeve length of the sleeve okay na? so circumference of the shaft pi d okay now circular cross section circumference of the pi d into length of the sleeve l therefore as is equals to pi d l pi d l so as is equal to pi into Diameter of the uh, shaft 80 mm into into uh, 80 mm. Let us convert uh, mm into meters. So 10 to the power minus 3 meters into length. 
So length of the sleeve, how much she given? Length of the sleeve he given 300 mm. So 300 into mm into meters, 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. AS is equal to, so here, 5 into 80 into 300. 8 3s are 24. 24 into 0, how many is 3 zero, so 10 cube into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 to the power of minus 3, 10 to the power of minus 6. Meter into meter, meter square. Okay. AS is equal to 24 into pi, 24 pi into, see, 10 cube into 10 to the power of minus 6. So base are equal. Base are same. We can add powers. 3 minus 6, how much? 3, positive 3, negative 6. So negative 3. So 10 to the power of minus 3 meter square. So this is a shear area. Area under shear. So now resistance offered by the oil on the shaft. So nothing but shear force on the shaft. Fs is equal to. So what is the formula? Mu into du by dy into as. Shear area. Now find Fs. What is the value of uh, mu? We got mu how much? 4.5 into du so change in velocity 0 0.5 by dy 0 point dy how much 0 0.10 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into shear area or area under shear so here we know 24 pi into 10 to the power of minus 3 so shear force is equal to 4.5 into 0 0.5 into 24 pi 10 power minus 3 10 power numerator 10 power minus 3 denominator 10 power minus 3 get cancelled okay so 4.5 into 0 0.5 into 24 pi whole divided by 0 0.10 so fs is equal to 4.5 so here 4.5 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 means 5 into 10 to the power of minus 1 into 24 pi by 0 0.1 means 10 to the power of 1 into 10 to the power of minus 1 10 to the power of minus 1 10 to the power of minus 1 get cancelled so fs is equal to and 524 is how much 120 so 4.5 into 120 into 5 so shear force fs is equal to if you calculate uh, 4.5 into 120 into pi you will get approximately 1696.5 newtons one six here i got 1696.5 newtons so this is the shear force on the shaft or uh, this much resistance offered by the oil on the shaft okay so this is the final answer